What's up? Uh, I did this like a, a very long time ago, maybe four years ago. Maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe not quite that long. I made one of these and it was not, it was like a very, it was a very negative video. And I just want to say that I probably should have given it more time, but, but here it is. So I am again on the Profile Z coaster. So one reason that I didn't like it was because of the weight. It, it was, I thought it was like 20 something ounces. Not that this matters to a lot of people, but I thought it was like 20 some ounces or like 25 ounces or something. It's heavier if it has like the uh, the regular axle instead of the 3 8 bolt. So it's only like 19 ounces right now. And then if you get like a tie driver or tie bolts, you get it down to like 16 ounces, which is pretty light for a free coaster because most free coasters are like high 20s. And then the other thing is I explained it like it was just a bad free coaster. Like I like my free coasters to have very little slack and this obviously has quite a bit of slack. So I, I could never get it to stay engaged. So I'd, I'd ride forward and I'd always take a little crank back and they would disengage. And then I couldn't do like, like tap tricks, like cassette tricks. And then I got it again, rode it for like a week and hated it. And then I talked to Justin Dowell and I talked to Mike Cullick and they both told me which space it'll run which is the 75 degree slack ring. I've actually, to be honest, I've had that one the whole time. I put that one in from the very beginning. I always thought there was too much play in it and I hate having this much slack, but I've rode it for close to a week now. And like I said, the last two times I rode it, I hated it. Um, it might have to do with the brakes. I have brakes on it as well, but so I'm trying to get used to more than one thing, but I actually really enjoy it. Like it works really well as a coaster. If I want to ride it just as a regular coaster, I just crank forward a little bit and, and back pedal um it sometimes disengages naturally still but like if i want to do a cassette trick if i want to do like a stall on a ramp i just make sure that like if i drop in i'll take a pedal and i won't like pedal further and pull my foot back i'll just pedal and stop right where i want my feet to be and it, it works every time you just have to like think about it you have to think about how it's going to work so you have to kind of keep in mind that if you pedal a little bit further than a flat crank and then back pedal it's probably going to disengage on you so if you just keep in mind, and as you go up to the ramp, take a full crank and stop right where you want your feet to be when you're doing the trick, you don't have any problems with it. So I love this thing now. Um, like I said, it does take a little bit of time to get used to it. And everybody that's rode one that I've talked to said it took them a few months to get used to it. Um, I'm starting to get used to it now just because I'm like thinking about it probably more than I should, but hopefully it'll come naturally and then I won't have to like think to have my feet set up before I ride. And then same thing with like, if you've ever ridden a coaster before, you just wanna make sure you're not like cranking, you're not like expecting instant engagement every time. You kind of have to expect it to not have any engagement. That way you don't slip forward and hit your knee on the stem. But yeah, so my review is a little bit better. I do suggest it is kind of pricey. I think it's up in like the $350 range. Um, and then if you get tie stuff on it, you could be easily spending over $400 on your back hub alone, which is pretty ridiculous but I haven't had any problems with the ones that I rode. I didn't ride them for that long, so I don't know how well they how well they hold up, but it's profile. It's American made, so I gotta imagine, yeah, I gotta imagine it's gonna hold up really well. That is my review of the Profile Z Coaster. It's weird the way it works. So real quick, I'm gonna try to explain how it works. And then, so my review, it's a good review. If you want a coaster that you can also potentially use as a set this is the one like i said you just have to pay attention because it isn't always a free coaster so just always take that extra crank and back pedal before you do a trick and it's a coaster every time so if you just get used to that um, then you can ride it like a free coaster but yeah so basically how it works is i have the slack ring that i have is i believe a, a quarter crank just about so from disengaged to engaged is about a quarter crank just under and it might have to do with the sprocket size that i run um but yeah quarter crank it's engaged and now here it's it's fully engaged you can crank a little bit um so same thing if you're like going up onto a quarter and land and it kind of you know you have a little bit of room to like press forward um if you're going fakey and the cranks come with you if you pedal back any faster than the than the wheel is rolling it'll automatically disengage so um, every time you fakie in cassette mode and you go to fakie, as soon as you backpedal a little bit, it disengages. So uh, if you're if you're fakieing, like sometimes I go to 180 and it's still engaged, I just kind of take a full crank and then it's, it's a coaster. So sometimes I have to do that, like if I'm trying to do like a, a, a cassette trick and then do it right after, I just take that full back crank um, and then I know it's disengaged. Like I said, the way it works is it's about a quarter crank until it's engaged and it's always engaged until you take that crank back 
And the only thing I didn't like about it was that it has all this slack and I hate, but like I've rode, my free coaster before had like this much slack, like it was instantly engaged and it still worked as a free coaster and I had no problems with it. So this was a little different to get used to, but I did ride a uh, Odyssey clutch free coaster. And so this is the same feeling. You just kind of have to expect it as a free coaster the majority of the time. And then like when you want to ride it as a cassette, you just make sure that you stop pedaling where you want your feet to be and it'll stay a cassette. Um, Cause your feet kind of uh, un like naturally move on their own. And you probably don't notice that your feet, like the position of your feet naturally changes as you're riding. So like you'll start to hear the clicking and you'll know like not to mess with your feet so much. So I'll give you some riding clips of me just doing some like backward stuff on it. I'll do like some tap tricks and some backward stuff. You can see how it works, but yeah, I, uh, I highly recommend. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you if you want the uh, free coaster with the abilities to do cassette tricks, this is probably the hub for you. watching make sure you click the like button and uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on more no.